For the first time, the Russian United Engine Corporation, UEC, will exhibit a fifth-generation engine for tactical fighter aircraft internationally at the Airshow China in Zhuhai 2024. According to a statement from the UEC, the main attraction will be a full-size replica of the enhanced AL-31 FN Series 5 engine. The aircraft's altitude and range capabilities will be substantially enhanced by the new generation power plant. Vladimir Archikov, first deputy general director of Rostec, said, We offer our strategic partners the best solutions that not only enhance combat effectiveness, but also reduce the life cycle costs of engine operations. For the first time, Rostec will present an updated lineup of the AL 31F and FN engine family at the International Exhibition in Zhuhai including the 5th series, the new SM100 engine, and an entirely new 5th generation engine for the most advanced operational tactical aircraft. Building on the successful lineage of the AL31F family developed by Salyut and built in the UFA engine building production plant, the AL31FN Series 5 engine represents a major boost in Chinese-Russian aerospace cooperation. The latest version includes many major improvements over its predecessors, particularly in the areas of operational reliability and thrust output. The Series 5 variant generates a maximal thrust of approximately 137 kN in afterburner mode, which is a substantial increase from the 132.5 kN of the Series 3 and the 123 kN of the original AL31FN. This improvement is achieved by refining the aerodynamic design of the compressor stages and improving the metallurgy of the hot section. The engine maintains the fundamental two-shaft configuration, but it includes advanced single crystal turbine blades and improved thermal barrier coatings, which enable it to operate at higher temperatures and improve thermodynamic efficiency. The Series 5 has made a major improvement in the time between overhauls, which has now reached 900 hours. In contrast, the Series 3 had a time between overhauls of 750 hours and the original variant had 400 hours. The increase is the result of more advanced health monitoring systems and improved durability of critical components. The engine's service life has been increased to 2,000 hours, which is a significant improvement over previous versions. The Series 5 boasts enhanced fault detection and diagnostic capabilities, as the digital engine control system has been extensively modernized. This system is especially beneficial for sophisticated fighter applications, as it enables accurate thrust management and more seamless integration with modern avionics. The engine's modular design has been kept but tweaked to simplify maintenance and reduce disruption during servicing. The Series 5 maintains comparable external dimensions to its predecessors, which guarantees compatibility with extant airframes in terms of physical specifications. The engine's dry weight has been marginally reduced by the use of advanced materials, particularly in non-critical structural components, while structural integrity has been preserved. The host aircraft's operational range has been increased by approximately 2-3% in comparison to the Series 3 as a result of the specific fuel consumption improvement. The AL31FN is modified for side-mounted installation, primarily developed for the Chinese J-10 fighter. Countries that operate Chinese-made fighters or are attempting to upgrade existing AL31FN installations may find the Series 5 to be an appealing option in terms of export potential. Nations seeking to improve their air force capabilities without the political complications associated with Western power plants are notably attracted to the engine's enhanced reliability and performance metrics. The principal market consists of current operators of Chinese J-10 variants and potentially other compatible platforms. Nevertheless, the export market has been impacted by a number of factors. Potential customer bases are influenced by Western sanctions and export restrictions, while market share is influenced by competition from alternative power plants, such as Chinese WS-10 variants. Furthermore, export variants may necessitate meticulous configuration to address technology transfer concerns due to the engine's advanced technology. Despite the fact that the AL-31FN cooperation is a distinctive aspect of Sino-Russian defense collaboration, it is crucial to acknowledge that China's position has undergone a major change. 
China's critical requirement for dependable engines for its J-10 fighter program was the reason for the initial AL-31 FN development, as domestic engine technology was not yet sufficiently developed. Salyut, the Russian company, collaborated with China to customize the AL-31F design for single-engine applications, such as the J-10. Nevertheless, the relationship has undergone a major shift as China's WS-10 program has matured. This family, particularly the advanced WS-10B and WS-10C variants, are now claimed to have achieved a level of reliability and performance that renders them a viable domestic alternative. China has been gradually replacing AL-31FN engines with WS-10 variants throughout its J-10 fleet, with a particular emphasis on the more recent J-10C models. This transition is indicative of China's goal to establish self-reliance in military aviation. This ongoing collaboration on the AL-31 FN Series 5 appears to serve a number of objectives for both nations. It serves as a reliable secondary option for China and contributes to preserving technological diversity in their engine supply chain. Additionally, it provides them with access to specific Russian engine technologies and manufacturing procedures. It is a valuable export program for Russia and contributes to preserving aerospace industry relationships with China. China is unlikely to select the AL-31 FN Series 5 over the WS-10 for new production aircraft, given the current trends. The WS-10 has emerged as China's preferred option for a variety of reasons, including the capacity to modify and upgrade the engine without foreign involvement, reduced maintenance costs, and complete domestic control over the supply chain. Furthermore, Recent reports indicate that the most recent WS-10 variants have attained performance levels that are either equal to or greater than those of the AL-31 FN Series 5. Nevertheless, China may continue to acquire a limited number of AL-31 FN Series 5 engines to maintain its current deployments and, conceivably, for specific applications in which a diverse engine supply is strategically advantageous. The relationship has transitioned from one of dependency to one of strategic cooperation, in which China prioritizes its domestic engine program while maintaining the partnership. Now, since Chinese fighter aircraft barely sell and Pakistan allegedly purchased WS-10 engines, will Russia ever sell the AL-31 FN engine? Let us know in the comments. Please like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel. Please also take membership in our channel to encourage us.